Hello there again, everybody. Boyd here with you, and welcome back. Well, my apologies off the bat here. Uh, I had already uploaded this video to my YouTube channel a little while ago, and uh, as I was letting it play through, I realized we had an audio problem about halfway through it, and the audio got cut off. I'm using some new uh, video editing software, and I'm still getting used to how to do the fade in and fade outs. Apparently, it's not it's not setting it where I intended it to, so I'll have to figure that out. But uh, So what I'm doing is I'm reshooting this and re-uploading it. My apologies to anybody who was watching it, and it cut off on you halfway through. It'll be back up here in just a little bit. But uh, I wanted to share with you guys today a really simple lighting trick. Um, this is something I've been using for quite a while on a couple of my projects, and I've always wanted to pass it along to you guys. I just kept uh, forgetting about doing it. But uh, this is really simple, you guys. Have you ever wondered how you could get like multiple points of flashing lights on your model, like blinking lights or pulsing lights, fading lights or flickering lights? And you don't want to have to use a control board to do that. Normally we think of a control board like from Tenet Controls or something like that that uh, has to control all those lights and that's the only way it can work. The main problem that we run into is we've got these um, blinking LEDs and SMDs that are available. In this case, I'm using an 0606 red 1.5 hertz SMD and the 1.5 refers to the blink rate. I'll turn it on here and show it to you. You can see it blinks at this certain speed. So normally what happens if we use more than one of these, uh, when you first turn the power on, They'll sort of be in sync, but as time goes by, within just a few seconds, they'll start getting out of sync with each other, and it'll get all screwed up, you know. And if you want that kind of effect, that's fine, but if you want them to stay in sync like um, multiple navigation lights on a starship or something like that, uh, this obviously won't work. So um, what we can do here, guys, is a little workaround around that. We're going to do what we call a master-slave setup here. We're going to use this blinking um, SMD here as the master, and we're going to use this um, standard white, five millimeter LED as a slave and so what we're gonna have what's gonna happen here is when we get this connected this one will blink uh, at the same rate as this one here and basically it mimics whatever effect we've got so if this was a blinker a fader a pulser or a flickerer this will mimic whatever effect that we've got set up here as the master okay and uh, you can do that with any of those types of bulbs um, you don't want to mix and match um, different effect bulbs with this though you want to just use Whatever bulbs you're going to connect to that, you want to make sure they're just standard always on bulbs, otherwise it won't work right. So um, I'm going to show you how to wire this. It's really simple. I've got just my basic power supply here. You can see this SMD has a built-in uh, resistor on it, which is always the plus side, and we've got our ground over here, the other wire. Uh, on the LED here, we've got the longer leg, which is always the plus side in an LED. I've got an, a 470 ohm one quarter watt resistor hooked up to that on the plus side and then we've just got the the little ground leg right there the you know the negative side so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the power supply hooked up you know the plus side of the power supply hooked up to the uh, resistor on the SMD that's the power plus side coming in we're gonna take the negative wire off of that uh, off of that SMD and we're gonna connect that to the uh, the plus side of our uh, LED here. I'm going to wrap this around here as tight as I can. Hopefully I won't have to solder it and uh, we'll get a nice enough connection for our demonstration purposes here. So I'm just taking, like I said, the, the, the negative side. So we're doing this in series and uh, I've got the negative on there now. And so all we've got left, you can see, is the, uh, the negative leg on the LED. So there I'm just going to take my negative output from my power supply and connect it onto that. And then we're going to hit the power. And presto, you guys, you can see we have uh, now the LED is blinking at the exact same rate as the SMD here, and it will stay in sync because this one is acting as a substitute for like a control board. So this is controlling the power and the uh, frequency that's coming into this LED over here. You can also connect as many LEDs as you want. You could use SMDs too. You don't have to use an LED. You can use whatever you want on the other side of the master here. The only thing you don't want to do is you don't want to use any other type of special effect bulb. So you don't want to connect like a pulsing um, SMD or LED behind a blinking one, right? Just use always on lights. Use this as your master. Um, so whatever effect you're trying to get there, it will do this. It will mimic whatever this one's doing. The only one that won't work is an RGB. An RGB, uh, as you guys know, is a multicolor changing bulb or an SMD. Um, that has a special filament in it that allows it to change colors like that, and it just won't work for this. You know, you've got to stick to the, either the uh, flickering, fading, pulsing, or um, blinking type. 
okay so um there you have it guys it's, it's pretty simple um <clears throat> you can um connect as many additional bulbs as you want onto this and i'll show you real quick how you do that let's take a look here get this connector out of the way so what you would do if you want to do that is you just take your next led uh and you'd bring it in the same way you want to make sure you have a resistor on it every additional one unless it's a pre-wired smd that has a resistor wired on there if you're using an led make sure you put the same kind of resistor on there another 470 ohm quarter watt resistor and then tie that into the same spot right here make sure you stay upstream of the uh on this side of the resistor and then just tie in the uh plus side of your um led here and then bring in the ground the other side to the other side here right and that way you can just keep on doing that just branch off of that and branch off of that and you can connect as many as you want and they'll all keep on doing that same effect so you know if you've got a like if you got one here that's uh smaller or whatever or a different color it might be the only one you have but you don't want it to be red no worries um you can just uh bury that one inside the model somewhere you know glue it inside the hull connect all these other ones to it that you want to actually be able to see and uh maybe take some black paint and paint over it bury it inside there and uh, just think of that as your control board inside your model. This is now acting like a control board. This little microprocessor in here is um, giving you this effect, okay? So um, really simple, you guys. Now, um, I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning or not, but, you know, all different sizes of these are available. You can shop around. I've got quite a, bit, a nice stash that I built up. Whenever I see blinking LEDs or uh, pulsing or, you know, flickering, I buy them. Same thing with these SMDs. Because there's different ones that blink at different rates. Even the flickering ones, there's, you know, kind of different flickering effects. They're not always exactly the same. So I kind of, you know, have a little collection of those. And I'll play around when I'm trying to do something. And I want to get a certain kind of effect, you know, a certain speed of the blinking or a certain flickering look. I can kind of fine-tune that. So I pick one out that I like. And then I just connect all the other ones to it, you know. And uh, come up with what we want in the end. So I hope this wasn't too complicated for you guys to understand. Again, it's very simple. It's just a series wiring, and uh, this will work really good, and it'll save you some money in it. You know, you're doing a kind of a simple project where you don't want to use um, uh, a control board or something like that. So there you go, guys. Hope that helps you out, and we'll uh, catch you on the next video. Take care out there, everybody, and happy modeling.